Who fancies a game? Love a game. I want you to come up with two truths about yourself that you haven't revealed so far this week and one lie. First one, I painted Brighton Pier. <laughs> Not the whole pier. No. <laughs> 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 you mean a picture of it? As in, yeah. Oh, you didn't like go on the Not, not, even, not, not manual work. No. Oh, <laughs> I, what you want. <laughs> I, pa I painted Brighton Pier and I had it exhibited. Okay. Wow. In, in Oxford. Right. The second one, I got carried on completely flat onto an airplane, and they carried me on with a passport on my chest. And, and I took up three seats. And the third one is I went into the royal palace at Monaco because I know one of the royal family. So I'm going with false is that you got carried on to the plane. <laughs> Cannot professionally agree with the second one. <laughs> you have not been on that plane. I'm going to say the false one is the last one. I'm going to go plane is a lie. No, everyone is wrong. <laughs> I, I did have lots of my like, art exhibited in Oxford, but, <laughs> but it was not of Bryce and Pierre. Wasn't it that all, all of them are... Lies. No, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the man has literally got, like, a story for every single situation you could ever think of, and he kind of multiplies the intensity of it by about a thousand. It's not that bad. When I used to find dead birds that were run over, I used to rescue them <laughs> and turn them into art, so I used to actually make masks. Hang on, though. M make, make masks <laughs> or pottery, <laughs> and they were all pots, and I'd have a dead bird on the inside, so you'd open your mask, it'd be lovely on the outside, on the inside, just see the imprint of a dead bird. Is there any photos, any evidence? No, they're all at my mother. She loves them. <laughs> the problem is they do smell a bit odd. Mm. Yeah, because you basically you put a dead bird on your face. <laughs> you don't put, no, you don't put the mask on. <laughs> now, that would be silly. <laughs> I made it into pots, so you'd actually look inside the pot and you can see this I imprint. literally have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Dead birds. I'm always looking for gifts uh, for loved ones, but uh, a roadkill dead bird mask, probably not too high up on my priorities. I'm going to glaze over my dead bird pots, roadkill pots, and that's, that's it. Probably best. For the last course of the week, Monty turns his hand to dessert. I've got the aphrodisiacs in here, which is the chocolate, and obviously also the berries. So I've got the love of the red going in there. Sweet! And served in a little red heart bowl, it's ice cream cake. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have you, have you made the ice cream? No, I buy shop ice cream and I mix it with the rum. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. So you've done this dish a few times. Or is this a spontaneous? No, this is the third time I've made this. <laughs> the dessert was actually really tasty, but it was, it was soaked in rum. So dessert for me was the best dish of tonight. Um, it had a lovely layer of biscuit. It had a lot of chocolate, a lot of fruits, a lot of cream. And yeah, that's something that I would order at a restaurant. So he did a real good job there. I'd like to see your best impression of someone at this table. OK, I'll, I'll do you. Go on, then. I'm the love doctor. <laughs> well, well done. Good. Well done. She's very sticky, am I? <laughs> that sounds nothing like Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that guy? Uh, yeah, who could it possibly be? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mine would be. Um, so, guy, you broke your wrist last year. Well. I broke my leg and my ankle and my big toe and my neck and my back for 15 doctors, all specialising in neck surgery. And, and I'm still on crutches and I've got wisdom tonight and I've had to stir one handed in the kitchen. It was an amazing meal. Yeah. Maybe I can win this prize tonight because the ambience is really good. Everyone's feeling the love. It's taken a week for everyone to actually feel the love as a group. but. Everyone now is transformed, so the Love Doctor has worked his magic.